So today I am providing a review of Maritza Ochoa, who is one of the new dolls that are part of the World by Us line that American Girl released on September 23rd, 2021. So this will look again at the doll itself and her meat accessories, as well as the packaging of her boxes and her book. So the Maritza doll is the Joss Mold, which was released in 2020 for the Girl of the Year doll, Joss, hence the naming of the mold. She has a lighter medium skin mold, um, so not, this, not the older one that was first released when Josefina came out, but the normal one that was released, I believe, back in 2018, I want to say. Um, she has long, br dark brown hair. Um, with um, auburn highlights, and she also has brown pinwheel eyes. Her outfit consists of a tank top, athletic pants, and sneakers, and her accessories consist of a clearish um, vinyl jacket, her water bottle, and a fanny pack. So as with all the World by Us characters, they have a new box design. Again, the boxes themselves are the standard American Girl boxes, but the front of them differ. So they have this striped zigzag colorful pattern that is on the front of their boxes. In the, they also have a couple labels, the Black As Seen World By Us label, and then also which character this is for. So in this case, we specifically are looking at Maritza. It has her on the doll box in her sitting form with her book, with her logo that says Maritza Ochoa and a soccer ball. And the same thing applies to her accessory box. So here's Maritza in her meat accessories. Again, they include the vinyl see-through jacket. It kind of feels like a raincoat um, and I will zoom closely. Um, her fanny pack as well as her water bottle. There isn't really a way for her to hold the water bottle unfortunately but I, the water bottle is cute and does match her overall colors of the black, coral pink, light pink, aqua, and yellow. So here's a close-up of Maritza. Um, again as you see that she has the brown pinwheel eyes, the lighter medium skin tone, and dark brown hair. I really love her auburn highlights. This video is not capturing them to their beauty, but they are just gorgeous. Um, so I, with her painted, her face paint, again, she has the thicker eyebrows, it's a new pattern, and her eyelashes are, again, she has additional painted eyelashes on it in addition to her default eyelashes. And like Yvette, she has this gap in the eyelashes, which McKenna doesn't have. So I'm not sure why they decided to do this with Maritza and Yvette, but they did. Now, the one thing I would say is that the eyelash pattern works on Yvette. I don't think it works as well on Maritza. And it's not so much the idea behind them versus how they are shaped and how it overall looks on the Joss mold. I just don't think it benefits Joss or the Joss mold at all. Um, it just especially certain pictures, I think it just makes her look cross-eyed. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping <laughs> those painted eyelashes, especially the bottom ones on her, but we'll see. Again, let's move to her meat outfit. It consists of a tank that has some mesh here, um, and it does have kind of a princess seams to it. Her jacket itself um, ha is kind of a raincoat type of vinyl. Um, with some st colored stripes um, sewed into it. Her fanny pack is pink and it's kind of just a, um, not tie dye, but just has a slight gradient in her pattern and with the zipper with the star. Her pants are very, very much similar to the yoga pants that came out um, with the previous mix and match from this year. So honestly, like that mix and match is probably gonna be perfect if you're planning on make, keeping Maritza as her default character. Here are sneakers. Um, they are slide-on. They have crisscrossed 
black laces um, and they are striped with coral and blue and then the toe area is a light pink and the um, tongue is white. And then here's her water bottle, which is the standard American Girl water bottle. Here is Maritza next to Joss. Um, I want to do comparisons since they do have the same face mold. Um, as you can see, you can definitely see that there is a difference in their skin tone when they're standing next to each other. And we know that Joss is the standard light skin tone for American Girl dolls. They do have the same color eyes. But I think though, between Joss's coloring and also her different eyebrows and the eyelash, eyelashes, the painted eyelashes around her eyes, there is a significant different look to her um, compared to Joss, even though they are the same mold. So here is a close up of Maritza alongside Joss. As you can see, they are the face, same face mold um, based on their lips their uh, nose shape. Um, Maritza's, Maritza's mold looks a little bit chubbier, um, but that's likely just due to variation um, in the mold casts over time. Uh, the Joss here, I end up getting on her debut, so she's a very first run Joss, um, and they may have updated the mold cast since then. Um, however, there is again some slight differences when you factor in the new eyebrows as well as the eyelash pattern, it does give a slightly different look to the Joss mold. Okay, so here we have some comparison dolls. On the very far right is a custom doll, but she has a Truly Me 55 wig. Next then we have Maritza. Next to her is Truly Me 84. And then finally, on the far left, we have Kanani. So you can see here that Maritza's hair length is pretty close to Truly Me 84's. It's possibly a tad longer, but then when you also look at Kanani, it's definitely by no means as long as Kanani's, maybe about an inch shorter. So here is, so this is just roughly a comparison of where her hair length falls. So here is Maritza's book. It is titled Lead With Your Heart and it's by Angela Cervantes. Again, the back has the summary, including you know Maritza's logo with the soccer ball and her full name, Maritza Ochoa, um, and also the World by Us logo and uh, price and ISBN and all the other fun stuff. Okay, so similar to McKenna's book, um, we do have her at the front, we have the author, illustrator, and advisors for her book. And then here is the opening um, pages, which as I mentioned in McKenna's video, um, the, this illustration is different and it's specific to the illustrator for each book. And then we have the About Me page. So Maritza, um, her dad's side is from Mexico and her mom's side is from Bolivia. Um, and she also mentions uh, Tia Mari, um, who unfortunately passed away prior to the start of this book. Um, that's not too much of a spoiler, I don't think, because it touches it fairly early. And then we have at the very end, um, ending illustration. We have a glossary of Spanish words um, since Maritza is Latinx, so there are Spanish words used throughout the book. We then have change makers section, uh, reader questions to discuss Maritza's story, and again, the ending advertisement for the other characters from World by Us, Makena and Yvette. All right, so that is my review of Maritza Ochoa, the doll and her accessories. As I said, I think Maritza is a very pretty doll. Um, she is unique, definitely in the fact that she is using the Joss mold, which this is only the second time it's now been used. And it also uses the lighter medium skin tone, which also has not been used on as many dolls. However, I do think that the painted eyelashes just don't work with this particular mold. Um, for Yvette, who has similar painted eyelashes, it works for her eye shape, but for Joss, it just doesn't. 
So I think if you can warm up to the painted eyelashes or perhaps think about removing them, I definitely recommend the Maritza doll. She is very pretty with her hair and her skin tone and her eye color combo along with using the Joss Mold. Um, but I can also understand that people do have reservations as well. So that is all I have for my review video. Um, thank you guys for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.